Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back on Minecadia for another faction season. Of course, if you guys want to come check out the server, be sure to use royal.minecadia.com as using that IP does directly support me. And if you guys want some free stuff on Start of the World, the server barely reset. You can still hop on, get started like I am. You just do slash redeem Royal, and then you guys can get yourself some free gold to use on the gold shop. And this you can get ranks, G kits, crate keys, literally everything. Everything, bro they even got like black scrolls white scrolls weapon orbs like you use all of this when making god sets. so it's just free loot if you guys want to hop on and use that but anyways guys like i said the server just reset i am a little late because i got super busy but we're still gonna be fine because i know the strategy to get overpowered on start of the world here on my Kadia. it's basically what all of the players do and grinding it i'm not gonna lie it's a little tedious okay but it is very much worth it with all of the items you end up receiving from this method and since my Kadia has a one week grace period nobody Nobody can raid anybody so you could just build a literally a dirt base and you're not going to be raided for the first week because nobody can get inside also if you guys were wondering about the f top payout on here it is 500 for first place 250 for second and 150 dollars for the third place faction as well as some minecadia capes which is kind of a dope addition but anyways guys this season i'm going to be joining the same faction that i played with last season now i believe a couple people in that faction decided not to play this map because they're just taking a break so i'm not sure how big of a difference that's going to make in this faction season the last one we ended up winning we took f top number one so i'm hoping we can do the same thing this season and this season i definitely want to get into some more pvp as well last season i didn't even take my best god set into pvp and i just never really died because i just stick with the numbers with the faction as that's the smartest thing to do but they also added tournaments this season so like 1v1s 2v2s 5v5 tournaments that is going to be dope to uh, try and participate in. But anyways, since it's start of the world, we have three monthly crates right here that we are going to pop open. Honestly, we're just looking at the legendary items here. Kadia roll tickets would be huge. An ace would be big. A mystery armor set. Oh, I think they've actually added new custom armor this season too. Okay, so I don't know anything about those sets yet. A mystery pet level 50 would actually be big as well. So let's just go ahead and pop down the first one. Can't lie, I forgot to turn down my sounds. But okay, 500k, some uh, boss summon a mythic pet egg that could actually be extremely good it depends what we get from it collection chest this is going to be big as well and of course for the last item we got to go with my head right here boom a mystery armor set oh that is exactly what i wanted we missed out on a perks bundle and a shillings cave loot bag so my head was definitely a w right there i'm gonna open this last and see what we actually end up getting from it we could get a good armor set we could either sell that for really good money or start making a god set off rip now the thing is on start of the world no faction is like really playing with each other you basically just go off into like a small little group of people you print in a cactus farm and everybody just kind of plays for themselves for the first week until tnt is enabled and then whenever tnt is about to enable you all actually come together in one faction add all the value and stuff like that we also got two cooldown shards, so that is decent quest skip. I don't know if these are going to be any good. I actually haven't looked into the uh, quests at all. But that was the first crate. Let's go ahead, drop down the second one real quick. I'm looking for a god weapon. This five random, five random partner items, a buccaneer rank. Ooh, chunk busters are actually pretty good because I might be printing in my own cactus farm. I don't really know yet. If I can just bunk with somebody that can run alts, I'll definitely do that. And oh my god, five Kadia roll tickets. That is massive, bro. So far, we've actually been taking a big dub on these crates i will use those kd roll tickets after i open up this last monthly crate but so far w opening we got one more crate to go and not anything too crazy out of these oh mythic crate keys might actually be good i'm not a thousand percent sure and then let's see final reward if my head's there i'm picking that one just automatic and it's not so I'm actually going to go with the far right. Boom, two event loot bags. What did I miss out on? We missed out on an ace, bro. I should have just went with the middle one like usual, bro. We got the worst win from that. But I mean, it's all good. It's all good. You win some, you lose some. We did get this event loot bag. We'll pop that open. And we got a pirate crate and a shaman gem. Okay. Oh, wait, this is a pirate armor set. This is what I was using the last season. And it's really good for damage, but you also take a lot of damage in this set. So this is straight offensive gear here which i'm honestly not too mad about we got one more event loot bag right here um we got a dungeon key and some slot crystals just not anything crazy but let's go ahead open up this armor set and see which armor set we end up getting if we get leviathan we're set but i'm guessing that's going to be the rarest one so boom 
What did we get? An orc crate. This set isn't too bad. This is like a good median. As you can see, you get a 10% damage increase and a 10% damage reduction. So it's a good like set to PvP in. And if you die, it's not that big of a deal. So I'll honestly take it because I'm probably going to die a lot this season. But now we're going to go ahead, do slash roll, and we are going to use these Kadia roll tickets. You can win all kinds of god items from this, okay? Oh, you can win a Leviathan crate. That would be huge. A hybrid shard I know sells for a lot. Is there a flaming hollow in here? Oh, a diamond. Diamond hook. Bro, this is one of the weapons that I didn't get to use last season, and apparently it just does a ridiculous amount of damage. You can win another April crate from this. So let's just go ahead and roll these, see what we actually end up winning. Boom, throw the first three in there and then spin it. Honestly, I would be down for a god weapon as well. Could use one of those on start of the world and boom, pull down shard. Oh, we got an April crate. <laughs> We literally got another monthly crate out of that. I take those. Um, this fortune armor set, I don't know if it's actually any good. Um, oh, this is a grinding set. Okay, so gain double the XP, deal 20% more damage to all mobs. Permanent res 2, permanent haste 3. Okay, this honestly isn't a bad win. That double XP is actually probably huge, but let's go ahead and pop open this april crate right here again again not anything crazy from the regular items but i'm clicking in the middle this time boom that's the worst one possible oh my god okay it was all bad it's all good we still have two more tickets right here we will go ahead hit a roll on this see what we end up winning and horrible absolutely horrible so real quick let me hatch these three pets it's gonna take about 10 more minutes and i'll bring you guys back because i definitely want to win a chicken pet early on so i don't have to carry speed two pots and expeditions so hopefully that's what we end up getting and now we are back bro and uh something insane kind of happened off camera so i hatched these three eggs right here and this is what we got we got the experience pet the kraken pet and the cage pet which isn't what we were wanting but then i went ahead and popped the kraken g kit which gave us two more pets Pet eggs and look at this okay we got four more kadia roll tickets i already claimed the money that we got from it so now we are at almost five million dollars but look this is what we wanted the chicken pet this is going to give us permanent speed two in expeditions which is what we're going to be grinding in today's episode and we also got this pig pet that gives us permanent saturation which is pretty good as well so honestly great starter pets right here whenever the server just releases but we got four more my kadia roll tickets let's go ahead throw it in there and see what we can win out of it and let's see okay seasonal pet egg another one i guess we'll take it oh no 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 no! mystery admin item wait a minute wait a minute i swear this is like a good item left click to view all possible admin items okay let me look you can get armor um okay you can get some yeezys all right i think that might be the worst win any of these swords i would take in a heartbeat not gonna lie axes oh i think the peacekeeper or the hellraiser oh my god they're both so good bows is an absolute l if we pull a bow that's literally the worst thing you could possibly win i think the rod is just gonna be a grappler if i'm not mistaken um these masks would be pretty good and then what is this a fish stick oh my god that's horrible so yo we're about to drop this thing down right now hopefully we get a little bit lucky boom what do we get oh we got the Yeezys. Are these good? Because I, I don't really think they are, bro. They look like they're just from a fortune set with Enforcer 5 and Speed 3. But I can't complain too much. We also got a Lucky Charm pet. Gain an increased chance of offensive enchantments from activating for a limited time. Whoa. This, this could be good. This could definitely be good. And I believe you can't even use these armor orbs or these weapon orbs at the moment at the time I'm recording this because Slash Funds, they added this to the server or is it Slash Fund? It's Slash Fund. You have to unlock stuff now. So the outpost isn't even unlocked. That is crazy. The only thing unlocked is this. And I don't even know what this is. But no strongholds, armor orbs, no uh, dungeons at all. No item coin flips. Like this is crazy. But we do have one more roll ticket right here. Let's see what we can get. And a dungeon portal that isn't even unlocked. And I think that's the bad. No, that's actually the good dungeon portal, I believe. So not too horrible. And guys, someone is actually wanting to buy this thing for $15 million. So I'm going to go ahead and sell it because they're not even unlocked right now so boom we put in the auction house for 15 mil i believe and yep 15 million hopefully he ends up buying that because um oh yeah he literally or someone bought it. no he bought it right there because we are going to be using this money to possibly print in a cactus farm i kind of want to try and do one solo but i don't want to run alt so it might be a little interesting we'll see what we end up doing but that is also another great strategy to get started here on mycadia but now we're gonna head over to slash expeditions now this thing i can't lie to you is insanely tedious to grind but it is what it is all right i'm gonna go to the kraken island because there's only one other person here 
Okay, that is actually a W. And you basically just come all the way over here to this ship. And uh, yeah, you teleport to the level one island because to unlock the other ones. I heard the rewards get extremely good, like crazy good. But it takes a lot of grinding to get there. So we're just going to go to the level one for right now. And I will show you guys why this place is actually so good. So this one is about to spawn mobs in two seconds. So we're going to pot a strength real quick. Oh, no. Dude, do these things still have like fast bow, bro? Okay, wait, no. I think they kind of nerfed them a little. Or, or did they? No. Okay, you got to aggro pearl on them. That's why I brought pearls. This is this is AIDS, dude. Come on. Just die, fam. That's why these things suck to grind, dude. Like, this is just... Bro, please. Let me kill at least one. And that one TP'd. Okay, we killed one and we already got a white scroll from it. Bro. What is this, bro? Nerf this ASAP, dude. It should not be this good. What the hell are you supposed to do? Okay, we got another... Okay, they're dead. So right there, we got a chunk buster, a white scroll, and we also... Oh, wait, no. That was it. But after you kill the wave... Wait, what the... And we also got $5,000. Not too bad. And after you kill the wave, you can actually come over here. Okay, so we got the $5,000 from accidentally clicking the chest. Okay, that makes sense. And we are going to need a lot of these chunk busters if I do decide to print in my own cactus farm. So that's honestly not horrible. Hopefully, we don't get eight skeleton spawns on this one as well. Okay, we got some dogs. Only one skeleton. This is light work. I can deal with this. Already killed that wave off. Boom. Claim the chest. And we got a black scroll with some more money like this is the way to start off bro it is easy loot you can win a ton of things from this so i'm literally gonna sit here and just grind this to be honest because look you guys can see right here on the scoreboard i'm level zero right now xp 90 out of 125 i believe you just get xp from every single kill you get you can make it to the extremely high levels i heard the rewards are op i'm not sure if we're gonna get that high this season but we might try a little something all right i'm at the kraken island so it's not like anybody is here stealing my loot and stuff so it's should be pretty easy it's just a tedious grind you can also win pets you can win masks let me pop this what mask do we get immune to bleed effects that unfortunately i don't think that is good at all but we can pop this and you get a little bit of xp as well so guys i'm gonna grind this out off camera for a little bit and i'll bring you guys back in a sec oh my god bro just look at me but yeah i'll bring you guys back in a second all right guys so we grinded the expeditions for a while and if i go into my pv3 this is all of the loot that we got bro we got ourselves a ton of chunk busters some collection chests pets partner items um you can even get enchants and stuff from this like it is actually insane and we just grinded it for a little bit but i don't want to spend too much time over there because i actually want to start printing in a cactus farm and i told you guys that i don't want to run alts right now because i'm literally running alts on skyblock so i don't want to be running them on two different servers so we had to actually join somebody that is already running alts on their cactus farm and i am just going to help them expand it so we went ahead and joined this dude right here Raquaza, i believe that's how you say his name i don't really know he said it's literally just him in the faction and a bunch of alts which is absolutely perfect again he is part of the main faction that we're going to be joining this season but like everybody splits off makes their own mini factions and then prints in their own cactus farm so if we go to f home maybe okay i think we got to go to wild real quick and then boom f home here we are this is his cactus farm he's already started i hope there's room for expansion Okay, yeah, there definitely is. So I can print right over here. I don't know where he has all of his uh all of his alts set up though. Oh wait, no, it looks like there's actually somebody else a part of this box right here as well. But yeah, look, this guy has alts set up everywhere. This is exactly what I was not trying to do because it's just uh it's a lot of work to set them all up. And it looks like the alts are placed for literally this entire cactus farm. So let's go ahead and start the printing process. If you guys want to use schematica and like printer, like what I'm about to use right now, I am currently on orbit climb, but you can do this on forge i believe you could do it on like badline client to my knowledge lunar does not have schematica in its like mods so i don't think lunar works but let's go ahead and rotate this thing and then we're gonna have to move it all the way over here there we go now this is basically set up i just have to line it up a little bit more so here we go i believe this is lined up perfectly it's just obviously since it's at bedrock we don't actually place the obsidian there but they already have a collection chest, and that is going to be in this chunk. These guys have collection chests for it days bro it is actually kind of crazy but we are going to go ahead and take off all of our armor put it all in pv4 and then what you do is you just do slash printer and then you should be ready to go ahead and print and yeah everything looks like it's lined up pretty perfectly so to print you just go ahead and come right over here and then turn printer on and boom 
this is all you have to do now don't be mistaken this still takes a lot of work and a really long time and you also need a lot of money for this because whenever you are printing obviously it is buying the blocks as you guys can see in chat and it is costing money thankfully i have over 20 million so we should be able to get a decent amount done with the amount of money that we have but anyways this is legit all that we are going to be doing wait what's going on over here oh dude did i mess it up this didn't print right here and i don't actually know why if we hide the schematic oh Oh, what's going on here? Oh my god, I just realized it was right next to another cactus, so none of this layer actually printed in. Oh, that's uh, that that's a problem. All right, guys, there we go. Now, for the most part, we have everything figured out. If we go ahead and show the schematic, everything should be perfect, and all I have to do... Oh, wait, yo, is this whole... Wait, this whole line might be... Oh, this is printed in. Okay, so now I gotta move the schematic over again. And I just line it up with these obby blocks right here. So there we go. Now we are ready to gen in this whole line over here. Slash printer. And yeah, you just gotta come over here, break that obby block. And then you go straight up. And everything should be working perfectly. So I'm gonna do this for a couple of hours, guys. And I'll bring you guys back with the progress and the updates. And guys, here we go. This is the final pillar of the cactus farm all right this is taking a little minute a little minute it is actually the next day because while i was trying to print this last night i got like a couple rows done right and then my internet just like started bugging out i don't even know what happened so it took a couple hours to fix that and then after those couple of hours it was super late and i just chalked it so i hopped back on i think i printed in like three more full rows and then that was all that was needed but now we can unload the schematic we don't need that anymore we can leave slash printer because the whole farm is completely done and now we do have a box in the middle of it over here i don't really know how many spawners this guy actually has so let's go take a look i'm obviously not going to steal from him but he has 32 million dollars in this chest which on start of the world is actually a ton of money so let me go ahead grab my g kit gear again real quick we also got this zoid mask from uh just grinding the expeditions and i think that's actually a pretty decent mask so we put it on the g kit helmet for right now i think in the next episode i want to start working on a god set because listen we did get a fortune set yeah fortune right here bro if i can make a really good grinding set you guys know if you have been watching the channel for a while like your boy can grind for a pretty decent amount of time you know so if i could just make the maxed out grinding set i will be set for the season because obviously you never want to go pvp out in this set because like what bonuses do you really get you get 20 percent damage to all mobs i guess you could take that to dungeons maybe if you do more damage that would actually be like the only reason why you would take this in a pvp wait permanent res 2 oh no is that actually good that might be good i don't know you guys let me know down below in the comments because just what i'm seeing gain two times more xp that's kind of all i want oh hold up there's a special ability while wearing this set you can occasionally kill more than okay yeah so useless in terms of actual pvp that means i would need to set up a blaze farm which shouldn't be too hard or does he have one down here oh 15 blazes in this box so let me mine into this box real quick oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. all right maybe we mine down a little too far right there i'm just trying to get into the blazes let me through okay so this is where all of like the useless spawners well i guess not useless i'm assuming they generate like some sort of income obviously so it's worth the place since it's start of the world but what do we have here this is a new box for IGs. Don't place IGs here. What? Oh, there is a new box. Okay. I don't know how many people are actually a part of this box, to be honest with you. But, like, I'm just here for the blazes. Ah, look at this little grinder they got going on. Oh, and we do have some enchants in these chests already. So, might snag a few if no one's using it, if there's any good enchants in here and stuff. But, yeah, guys, this is basically all you do on Start of the World. You go to Expeditions, level that up a little bit. And once you get, like, enough chunk busters and enough money to actually start printing and then, obviously, chunk buster in an area you just build like a little box surrounded by cactus and you throw your spawners in here and it's just kind of rinse and repeat until tnt enables i don't know how much pvp there is on start of the world but uh yeah actually looks like we're gonna need some more blaze spawners so i have nine million dollars left over even after we did all that printing um blazes are only 350k each so we can buy a pretty decent amount of these i'll buy 21 boom and we are just gonna place that right there there we go hopefully that makes more of like an infinite stack i don't think 36 is gonna make it infinite if we're being honest but it'll definitely help a lot in the next episode of factions i might try to hit a couple envoys because i think you can get some like really good stuff and even spawners from envoys and again it's grace period so there's not too much to do i'll also probably help on the main base in the next episode as well and i'm a bozo i never even had to mine into this full box bro there was literally trap doors right here jesus christ so if we go take 
take a look at the cactus collection obviously these couple of chunks just just barely got genned in but look there's already millions upon millions of dollars just chilling in here and if we fly further okay no it actually doesn't really get better but maybe somebody sold it not too long ago there's still millions of dollars just chilling right here and a couple million on the start of the map is definitely a lot of cash okay like yo i literally just finished printing this layer right here and there's already 40k 46k right there 47k like bro this is the easiest cash of all time and if you really wanted to like f who look at our land to our max power since we have so many alts in here we have 2100 power and less than 300 land claimed if you really really wanted to you could go out and make a whole another claim for another cactus farm and just double up on your money but of course you would need more alts to afk that so it's really limited depending on how many alts you have or you can get the chunk loaders as well that's a method but anyways for right now that is how you start off on my kd factions if you guys were wondering you don't need a super big faction to do this method honestly if you don't have alts you could just keep grinding out expeditions and leveling that up one day i will try and get a high level on expeditions just to show you guys how good it actually gets because whenever you reach the max rank you can pull gas spawners magma cubes obviously igs blazes more money more xp just stuff like that i think you can even get ranks at like the top level don't quote me on any of that though that's just what i've been told so anyways if you guys did enjoy today's episode be sure you guys drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the server with royal.mindcadia.com slash redeem royal if you guys check it out you get free gold coins that you can spend on the gold shop to get ranks keys g kits all of that stuff and uh, yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next episode of mindcadia factions